What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to go over a quick little day trading recap. Check it out. Well guys, today started off just like basically any other trading day. You know, I woke up in the morning, uh, took a look at my gap scanners. Uh, here we go. Gap scans. Nav B was the one leading the the crowd today, not much going on. Uh, 10 million in flow. Um, you know, I had decent volume. I had a real nice move in pre-market. Let me get that chart over here for you. And as I do that, let me tell you a little bit about those scanners. That's uh, the trade idea scanners. And when you have those scanners, you also get the charts, obviously. And they have a number of things. Like you can even set up your your um, your strategy into the system and allow it to trade for you. Uh, your strategy so like you'll put your prerequisites on what you want and it'll trade for you so you don't even have to worry about hitting buttons i don't use that um, but some people do find it very helpful and trade ideas are the scanners that we're going to give away uh, later on this week if you want to know more about that check out friday's uh, recap where i go over uh, friday's recap plus the trade ideas raffle where we're going to be giving away a one month subscription for free. We've partnered with Trade Ideas to do that as a celebration for reaching a thousand subscribers on the YouTube channel. So this morning, uh, as you can see, in pre market, Nav B went from 79 cents all the way up here to a dollar 40s. Uh, it pulled it in a lot, all the way up back down to a dollar, and then it grinded its way up. And then uh, at the bell, we kind of like grind it up, and then we started to chop around here this 120 area. And then we finally had a little move here from 120 up here to $1.39. And I traded, I actually bought it in here and got stopped out here and rebought it in here and sold on the push, which brought me back to green, uh, sorry, break even on the day. I wish I was green. That would have been you know, a little bit nicer. So let me pull it up here real quick for you. Uh, initially, I do have all these trades live recorded for you. At least the last one I know I have it. We'll check right now. Uh, right here when it broke underneath VWAP, right on this candle, right before that break, I stopped out, I believe here or up here, and then it broke underneath it, and I was like, well, I guess this is done. But then when it regained it, and we started to get this uh, crossover here, I said, all right, well, it's time to jump back in this. And I did, and took profit as we squeezed up here. I was really looking to... Uh, you know, get something going all the way up to 150. My last take profit was going to be 145, but it was just not having it. And I stopped out of the last little piece. And now it's just doing the same grinding action we had here. It's doing it right here above VWAP. So what's it going to do is anybody's guess. And we'll see about that. So let me bring over the live trades. And as I do that, sorry, I wasn't around yesterday and there was no recap. Um, I was actually closing a real estate deal yesterday uh, on an investment property we just purchased, which I will be doing a video on. So if you are into uh, more than just trading, then you're going to want to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch that video once it's uploaded. So this is the last video. Let me see. Do I have? Yeah, here's the other one where I exited for the for the L. Let's see. Let's fast forward a little bit here. I actually add 15 to 1500 shares here and I'm looking for it to continue holding 120, get this 90 MA up there. Maybe get that cross and push up to 140. We get real nice action there, but 90 MA is creeping up there. I mean, it's looking very clean as you can tell. But we get stuffed up, up you know, about 120 again. We get that candle right here that opens up all the way down there at VWAP. And I'm like, well, this sucks because this is probably going to break under it. My stop was 116 at the time. So once we start to see that it's just sitting there at that VWAP, I'm like, I don't really like it. You know, it's sitting there at VWAP. It puts in a wick. We're putting in all these lower highs while just sitting here. Volume is decreasing rapidly right like once we get this action we want to get this bounce and we want to see volume start to increase volume is decreasing rapidly we're just sitting at vwap so i'm like you know what i'm going to exit and as you see i exit right there my cost basis is 124 i exit at 121 only lost three cents and then boom we get that nasty drop 
And I thought it was done. I really thought, you know, it was it was over. But then we get that action, and I'm like, well, damn. Let's see. Let's let's watch it again, right? That's what I say. So I get back to watching it, and I decide to jump right back into it. I took 1,500 shares again. And then I quickly said to myself, I don't like this. Why do I have 1,500 shares? I should have less because I was just stopped out of it here. And I took right back the same size, two cents more expensive. So I'm like, you know what? Let's lighten the load here. So I sell 500 right there. I sell 500. Okay. Basically at 125, 124. I wish I would have kept it, but I had to do that because I was feeling uncomfortable. And when you're in a trade and you feel uncomfortable, you make stupid decisions. So I wanted to feel comfortable. So I took off 500, kept a thousand that kept me comfortable. And then we're up here and I'm like, okay, well then let's start getting ready to put out profit targets. I immediately put out right around here. I immediately put out a profit target of 135. So I sell 500 at 135. So boom, we hit 135. And you can see I go from 1,000 to 500. 500 executed at 135. And then we have real nice increase in volume. So I'm like, okay, well, this is perfect. I put out another order to sell at 140 uh, or 139. But it doesn't it doesn't fill because we don't make it up there. Right there. Or maybe I put it out at 140 and we hit 139. Yeah. So what I do is I just sell out another 250 right there at 135 again. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna keep those 250s with a stop at 130. And I'm looking to take this off at 145, those last, you know, 250s. That's a nice little gain. Would have brought me from break even on the day, would have actually brought me to green on the day had it happened. But we get this action there and no dice. We start to pull it back in. And I stop out of that because I, I didn't like that wick. It was just a nasty wick and pull back in. And I stop out of the rest there at one. What is that? 130? Yeah, it looks like 130. That's what's on the bid. Okay, so that's it. And that's my trade. Puts me right back at break even on the day. So not too bad. Could have been much better. Um, but, you know, I'd rather be break even than red. I was red um, like 90 bucks because I also took some puts on the spy and those failed. And then I took that little loss on the NAF B and that failed. So I was red 90 bucks. So this brought me basically right back to break even. So it's a scratch day. Nothing to write home about, but at least I'm safe. I'm not red 200 bucks. That would have sucked. Really got to realize the market that we're in right now, especially for small caps is garbage. And even on the large caps, at least for me right now, it's not, you know, it's not something that I trade often. So it's not very easy. Um, your spy is up at all time highs and we got all sorts of crazy action going on. So I'm scaling it back a little bit, putting some eyes on some shippers. Uh, we're, coming, we're coming into November. So I'm looking at some shipper plays uh that i'm that i'm entering uh just very small positions for swings into november maybe we get some pops who knows and if we don't well then we'll have some real small losses on it it's fine oh look as we talk look at look at nav b dump it right underneath vwap stick it right here in front of 120 and uh, we'll see what happens there but that's it that's all there is to it for now remember to check out friday's video so if you are a new subscriber or you're a present subscriber and you're not a part of the raffle you're going to want to check out that video and follow the instructions there so you can be a part of the trade ideas raffle and i hope you're having a great day excellent start to your week and i'll catch you on the next one yeah.